Let's have a look at the latest weather. Cold, warm, cold is the uh, the weather forecast in a nutshell I've just been given. But <laughs> yes. Nina Ridge, I'm sure, can uh, expand on that. Not bad. We certainly <laughs> had a cold and icy start to the week. But we are going to see things turning a little bit topsy-turvy over the next few days because temperatures will climb and we'll see some heavy rain. But then for Friday and the weekend, it's set to turn colder once again and we'll be looking out for those wintry showers. We have got some wintry showers today. Some sleet and some snow through this afternoon across parts of western Scotland. Some rain showers as we move our way further south across parts of Wales where it's going to continue to be cloudy. At times these might be on the heavy side. Across parts of southwest England again a bit of a cloudy afternoon to calm. We've already seen some heavy showers. There are more of those and they'll move their way towards parts of Dorset and Hampshire for the afternoon. As we look to southeast England, well here it should stay dry but there's been some sunshine during the morning and we can expect more cloud this afternoon. Temperatures in London at 7 degrees. Across parts of the West Midlands, northwest England there'll be some rain around but to the east of the Pennines it should stay dry with some brightness although temperatures struggling. 3, 4 degrees in Leeds and Newcastle. This evening then and overnight tonight, all eyes on Scotland. We'll see a spell of sleet and snow for a time moving northeastwards across the country. Around about 10 centimetres of snow in one or two places. Along with that, we've got some strong winds later on in the night, gusting to around about 60 miles an hour. As if that wasn't enough with the snow, the strong winds, we're also concerned about ice with a Met Office amber warning in force to take us through the night and into Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning will be another chilly start to the day across the northern half of the country, not quite as cold further south where lows are forecasted around 6 to 7 degrees. Quite cloudy skies then to begin Wednesday morning, but we should see some bright weather, some sunshine for some of us. Yet again, some wintry showers to come as we go through the day. It will be windy, it will make it feel quite cold. We'll see some more snow across the northeast of Scotland. Temperatures here reaching 5 to 6 degrees, but in the south we're looking at highs of 9 to 10. It's all changed yet again for Thursday. We've got some strong winds across the country and some heavy rain with some hill snow across parts of Scotland. You'll notice those temperatures leaping up 12 to 13 degrees. But the strong winds will strengthen even further through Thursday afternoon and into the evening with northern Scotland bearing the brunt of that with gusts of possibly around 70 miles an hour. The winds fall much lighter then on Friday and they change direction. So we're back to that cold northwesterly wind bringing with it some wintry showers, most of them across northern and western areas. And again, it's going to feel cold with temperatures quite widely reaching highs of 4 to 5 degrees. You can always get more details on the weather for the rest of the week by taking a look online. Nina, thank you very much. A reminder now of our top story, at least 58 people have been killed in